Hold on, hey, Star TMP. Uh, I just would like to give the word to my colleague, Yunus. Hi, everybody. It's Yunus here. I'm a software engineer at Antimedia. Yeah. So Enhanced RTMP is, a, is an extension of the traditional RTMP protocol. Uh, it allows us to support advanced encoders such as uh, H.265. So thanks to Enhanced RTMP, you can now publish streams to Antimedia with H.265 using RTMP. And you can play it with all the playing protocols such as WebRTC, HLS, and Dash. Could you please tell what is the what is the RTMP in general? Uh, okay, and this RTMP is the enhanced version of the RTMP. What is the RTMP? Uh, RTMP is a publishing protocol. It's a real yeah. time it's a real time multimedia protocol. Yeah, exactly. So that it will just improves uh, to send more video tracks, more professional stuff. Uh, for the backend side. So, uh, for, for supporting of Enhanced RTMP for Ant Media, generally, this is a request coming from one of our users. Uh, maybe he's here, though. Uh, he, he's the one that just asked us to implement that feature to support Enhanced RTMP and playback H.265 streams in um, Safari browsers directly. So, yeah, this is the his RTMP, and uh, I think, you know, you can proceed for the demonstration. Okay, I'm going to publish the stream through OBS RTMP. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, for, for, for his RTMP, this is something, okay, you can proceed. Then. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go to output. I'm going to choose the... Uh, video encoder as HEVC. Uh, let's leave the parameters as this for now. And then I'm gonna set the server name. This is just like normal RTMP. There is no difference here. And then I'm gonna start streaming. So as you see, my publish is started and we can watch the stream. And this is all with the advanced encoder. So I think it is directly playable with uh, um, Safari. It is not playable in the uh, web bro Chrome browser. Ah, yes, because it's H.265, you're right. Yeah. So uh, I think from, from now on, uh, Moit is more prepared for that stuff. This is my uh, mistake to just ask you this stuff. Uh, Muid, I think you are ready for that uh, demonstration as well. Could you please make yeah. sure that it is playing uh, in, in uh, FF, FF Play and other stuff? So, hi guys, this is Mohit. Uh, yeah. I will just share my screen with you. Let me know once it is visible to you guys. So, yeah, I think it should be on now. Let me just go to OBS as you understand. So yeah, I also have a uh, Steam setup. This is the popular Big Bunny. Uh, I'm just I'm sending it to this RTMP endpoint, and I'm I'm using HEVC as well. So let's start start streaming. So the stream is on now. Now let's go. Yeah, we should have. This is the stream that we have. So I will just try to play this with FFmpeg because as, as we saw that Chrome doesn't support a specified protocol yet. So we'll make use of FF play. So if if we go here, this is if you give the embed code. Uh, let me create the URL for and preview it. So we'll go here, use FF play, and it should be playing. So 
uh, stream is up yeah. yeah and it's 65 yeah the point here is that in the tradition rtmp streaming we cannot use the hevc encoder to publish the streams <coughs> When we use the unhaste RTMP, we can publish the streams with the HEVC. It means that we have a higher quality and a lower bitrate. Uh, so with the same uh, network connections, we have a better user experience with the unhaste RTMP stuff. And it is compatible with the Safari Direct Play. Uh, so some of our customers directly playing the streams through their uh, Safari web browsers in their projects. So, uh, thank you, Mumit. Uh, anyone has any kind of questions uh, for Unhaste RTMP or some other stuff? You can just write to the messages or you can raise your voice and then we can proceed from there. Do you transmax it to H264 for uh, distribution? Uh, yeah, we support also converting the stream to H.264 uh, to deliver to the CDNs and the other browsers. Uh, it is supported in the backend side. Uh, and one of our customers using that way, it both supports H.265 and H.264 uh, in the backend to create the multi-bitrate ladder uh, so that it is supported. Very good. Yes, it's enable one adaptive, and then it should be uh, able to play with ISO 64 as well uh, when we enable transcoding on the server side. 